Hello from Kingston, Nova Scotia. As you can tell, <laughs> we are getting quite a lot of snow and it's the perfect size and temperature to take snowflake macros. Now, I've probably taken snowflake macros three times before, mainly because I live on the west coast and we rarely get snow and the snowflakes are often really small and if it's too warm outside, they instantly melt. So it's about minus 10 Celsius here, so they're actually staying and they're those nice, big, juicy snowflakes. <laughs> so I'm just gonna quickly show you my technique. I am by no means an expert at this, but I've taken a couple shots today and I thought they were pretty cool. So I thought I'd show you just quickly what I am doing. So I'm using uh, the 5D Mark III and the 100 millimeter macro lens f2.8. This is my little makeshift setup. This is a, a rental house, so I don't have all my gear and all my things. So I'm just using this, this laundry drying rack and I'm just laying over a scarf and this kind of micro fibery neck warmer thing. And they're actually giving me um, different backgrounds. So with the scarf, when you punch in, you get sort of the fibers of the scarf and it can look really cool. And this one, it's more flat and, but both of them are dark. And that's kind of what you want to show up the snowflakes. Cause if you use something white or light, it's not gonna show up as much. So I'm just putting these out. And as you can tell, it's snowing a lot right now, which is kind of bad because it's difficult to isolate one specific snowflake. So I continually have to shake, shake them out and then wait for new ones to appear. All right, so once I've got a nice juicy snowflake that I want to photograph, I'm going to place it under my camera here and I'm shooting at F5 around. I'm playing with different apertures, but what I don't want is the background to come through too much. I want that nice bokeh around my snowflake. And I'm actually, instead of lying it completely flat, I'm trying to kind of bunch up the material here so that the snowflake is standing at more, like instead of completely flat, it's standing at kind of an angle so that I get the light kind of shining through. So let me try this one. I'm using manual focus because there's no way this is going to work without that. And obviously being on a tripod is allowing me to keep this really stable. I, I did try some handheld stuff and honestly they were blurry. So if you have a tripod, use a tripod. <laughs> it's a great tool. That's cool. <laughs> All right, well, I am going to probably be here all day taking snowflake photos until my, my face freezes off. I know my hand, my hand's getting really cold. And I hope that you can try this at home and take some of your own snowflake shots. Until then, ciao from Nova Scotia.